I uh, want to talk about priorities, Tom. I'm going to start with you. Uh, can you talk to us about, uh, just give us your top two or three priorities there at the Navy that you're going to be focusing on this year? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, so, so you know, it, it's interesting over the last couple of years, and not only my time in the Army, but also now in the Department of the Navy, the priorities are really starting to shift a little bit, right? So we're making a lot of progress in some of the more fundamental things. But for the next 12 months or so, we're really uh, focusing in on inventorying our data, knowing where it is, knowing what it is, knowing what its sensitivity level is, what system it's in. And then more importantly, this is going to be the challenge is knowing what systems talk to what other systems so we know how the data flows throughout the environment. So that's something that we are digging in on now. That is actually an offshoot of a broader initiative that we're calling Supernova, uh, which is a data rationalization effort. And so, you know, Nick mentioned uh, the high, high performance computing environment. That's something we've been working with the analytic uh, folks over in the N7 on the Navy side. So they have this thing called the analytic master plan, which is a, you know, a, a, an attempt to kind of organize the Navy in terms of how we're going to do analytics at scale. Um, and so that inventorying is going to be important to know, you know, where that data exists. And then that'll allow us to, you know, not only know what we have, but how to protect it properly, how to position it properly, make sure that the people that need to have access to it, ready access to it, right? Uh, and, and then also allow us to uh, make sure that that we're using uh, authoritative data sets or what we call originating data rather than some sort of derivative data that has been you know mucked with in some way or manner or fashion or form so that cataloging effort and that uh, supernova data rationalization effort are going to be really important to us moving forward uh, and then the ne next thing i think that we're really going to focus in on uh, make a big push on anyway is really trying to uh, communication and upscaling of the workforce through that acumen effort that i mentioned earlier uh, I think that's going to be really essential for us making progress. And so once we understand where our data is and what that data is and maybe the, the cleanliness of it, the quality level of it, and, uh, you know, typically we call it veracity, but really broadly, uh, can we trust the data for decision making purposes and, and to create that operational advantage is an open question, right? So we've done some basic data uh, maturity modeling right now and, you know, out, out of a, a five or not near five. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> so um, it's not unsurprising. The results are not unsurprising, but how do we start moving that needle? And so um, the last thing, again, I, I think I mentioned earlier, it, it, well, is just really starting to use data uh, for performance management. And so that's going to be really important to not only uh, look at ourselves uh, very uh, in a way that is very benign and say, you know, let's just be honest about where we are in the story uh, and then start looking for those drivers the levers that we can pull that are going to make the most impact and so these creation of the driver trees that we're calling them and finding mm -hmm. of all the variables that we have which ones are going to be the most impactful for the minimum you know with the limited amount of resources we have so how do we pull those levers and so uh you know i like mike's um, mention of the uh, the little data versus the big data a lot of this really is a little data problem right but when you yeah. aggregate across the scale of the Department of the Navy um, in total, it's a big data problem. But uh, that's why we wanna really do distributed workforce. We wanna push that down to the edge. Uh, we wanna empower those smaller teams. I think it was um, Amazon just the other day, they call them two pizza teams, which I'm gonna think I'm gonna adopt that, that terminology. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Two pizza, we, we hear about that all the time. 